Bluegrass Larry, Mountain Larry. Uh, you know, you got to get up in the morning and you, you got to get your fingers moving. That's what you got to do. Um, we're not getting any younger, people. You know, um, get up in the morning, get your fingers moving. You don't have to do all that stuff, but just, just do some stretches, right? Just like, you know, you're supposed to do with your back. Stuff like that, you know? we got in the vcb uh, what are you what are you doing today i know what i'm doing um today is day two of uh brett papa i love that name brett papa i could just say it over and over sometimes i do um you know he's 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 been saying to me for a long time he's been saying things like tom he calls me tom you're crazy you're giving all this stuff away for free one of these days you gotta help me. You, I, you gotta let me help you put together like a real, you know, video su subscription thing. And I've been, you know, I'm like my mother. You know, I, I'm, I don't really take advice very well. People told her for years she needed hearing aids and she wouldn't do it. She was very stubborn. I think, I, I think I've got a bit of that. So does my son, Leo. He's very stubborn. If he wants something his way, that's it. it's, gonna be, it's gonna be that way. I'm not quite like that, but I've got a bit of that. So, um, Brett said, you know, let's, let's do a subscription thing. And I'm starting to think this is probably a good idea. Um, because Lord knows it's hard to wrangle me to actually sit and show something, you know, like really show it. Like I, I this, this show has always been sort of aimed at sort of, you know, intermediate and above players that I just expect people to be able to grab this stuff if I just show it to you. But what if I did have like little diagrams and things? Larry takes sip now, it would say in the corner, you know, things like that. Um, thanks for all the kind words about, well, anyway, anyway, I, I'm, I'm going over there today to do like two little pilot episodes, I suppose you'd call them. And uh, man, we, we did one yesterday, it was really fun. Brett's great, he's easy to work with. Um, it's all cool. So that may be happening in the future. I think I'm going to block out a good bit of next year for that type of thing. And this is all not carved in stone yet and all this stuff. Things may change, but it looks like it's going to happen. And, um, you know, I think it's a good idea. Brett's cool. So, uh, I, I really appreciate all the kind words about the cooking episode. That was, you know, I, you guys did not see that coming. Admit it. Admit it now. You did not see that coming. I've had comments from people that I didn't even know watch my videos about that one. Even my realtor lady, Lisa, she was like, now I've seen everything. 
She said, uh, and then uh, Carolyn Don Johnson, my old friend, texted me last night, said, oh my God, what the hell are you doing? But anyway, yeah, it's fun. Uh, just having a little fun out here. Trying to have some fun. Trying to get a few laughs out of you guys, you know? Tough crowd. Here, um, let's see if we got anything in the VCB or the dam today. Oh, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to put a link to a video. Watch this video, kids. You might like this song. I think it's a really cool song. I think the guy's got a really cool voice. Uh, let's see. Uh, one guy said, we don't read the works of Aleister Crowley around here. I'm dying. Ha ha. Great one. That made my day. Yeah, you know, homeschooling is, a, is not a religious program. But I try to stay away from all that stuff. But I certainly don't want anybody to get any idea that we're... Uh, reading the works of Aleister Crowley around here. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry, I'm just making jokes. I have no, he probably didn't write, He he's probably as misunderstood as I am. He probably sits around and going, why do people think all my books are about Satan? He's probably the same as I am. Uh, he might be dead though. He probably is dead, I don't know. Uh, there was about eight million people that told me to look at that whipped, gnarly GA83S on reverb. Thanks, guys. But you, <laughs> I know you guys are trying to be helpful. I appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you for being, I'm not trying to be ungrateful, but look down in the comments. If you see 8 million people have already suggested it, maybe you don't need to suggest it. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying, you know, I, I literally had probably 500 people tell me about that amp on there. And it had all the typical water damage, that the ones I told you. They always get like that. I don't know why. Why do people put their GA83Ss in water? I don't know why. Um, but thanks a lot, guys, for, for sending. I didn't buy that. Some Everyone thought I bought that because I guess it sold. I didn't buy it. I did not buy that. Man, how about a, how about that game last night? Lord, you know I put I took the Eagles on money line. Uh, I just had a feeling everyone thought the Chiefs were going to win that one, but I took the Eagles. And uh, boy, that first half did not look it did not look good for for the guy who bet the Eagles. But they came around. There was moments during that game at the top of the second half. I was like, what the fuck are they doing? The Eagles they looked like they were just standing in the backfield. They'd call a run play. The ball would snap and they would all just stand there. I was like, what is happening? This is like the twilight zone. But they pulled it together. And uh, they, did a, they did a good job whipping the Chiefs' ass. Although the Chiefs had that game. That drop pass. Lord Jesus, I could have caught that. See, you say that. You say that. But really, if I tried, you could throw me 100 of those balls and I'd probably catch one of them. See, but that's what the armchair quarterback does. He says things like, oh, I could have caught that. No, you couldn't. First of all, you couldn't have run out there like a gazelle in order to get in that position in the first place. So be, take it easy on Marquez Val, Valdez, can't catch Ling. Take it easy on him. He's got too much jewelry to be catching balls. Did you notice that? Why would you be wearing a bunch of jewelry out on the on the on the on the dance floor if you're out there. I mean, don't you need to be as light as possible? I don't understand these people. Why would you have 30 pounds of hair getting out of the back of your helmet? See, I'm not questioning the culture of man. I'm just saying, wouldn't that make you lighter? Wouldn't that make you run faster? It just seems common. It's like common chemistry to me. You know, hey, Tom, are you a, flan, a fan of uh, Flight of the Concords? Hell yeah. Back in my married days, we used to watch that all the time. That was like a favorite show to binge watch. Really brilliant. You know, I like all that stuff. Uh, Jed was into that too, my dear old buddy Jed. We, we used to watch and talk about those episodes with Murray. That was my favorite character on there. Um, hey, Tom, love your use of the George Benson song in the background. Yeah, man, what a, what a, what a banging track, man. Breezing. That's just your typical um, 
elaborate 1625. You know what I mean by 1625? Think about it. One chord, six minor chord, two chord, two minor, to five. We call that 1625 in the biz. You know, that's just, that's just your old, that's your cooking music, man. You get that on and you start, uh, you start getting them fresh veggies on and you, 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 you put those onions down in the bottom of the pan with the, see, I know how to really cook, you guys. I mean, I realize that all great meals start with the, with the onions and, the, and all the fresh veggies and all. I was just goofing around, man. Come on. I just don't have time to cook. That's the thing. I just, I would love to find an old woman who is bored, who lives in the Brentwood, Tennessee area, who's an amazing cook that I could pay weekly to make amazing food for me because I just don't have time. I would love to, I could do it myself if I wanted to. I could take a couple of cooking lessons. I know it's not that hard. I know it's not that hard, but I just don't have time and I don't want to. So yes, I would love to eat healthier. Uh, and I would love to find somebody that would just bring over food every week, amazing soups, Things like that, I would pay handsomely, but it's gotta be a cool old woman. And she has to be like, oh, you, do you like that? <clears throat> you like the way I made that chicken there? Okay, great, I'll make more of that. Oh, great, you like that kind of soup? Okay, leave that out, okay, great. She's gotta be like that. I'll pay her handsomely. <clears throat> She's gotta be retired, you know, kind of type thing. If you know anybody, let me know. It can't be some dude, some creepy dude who wants me to give him some pedals. I'm not doing that. All right. The, the person that makes my food every week cannot be interested in pedals. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> okay. That, that cracked me up. <laughs> hey, uh, one guy said, uh, wait, 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 where is this? Um, hey, Tom, I know where a Travis Bean wedge is. They only made 45, it has your name on it. Yeah, right. I, I wrote back to the guy. I prefer a nice iceberg wedge with some blue cheese, please. Who wants one of those things? Jesus God. Oh Lord, you ever pick one of those up? It's it's as heavy as a late 70s Stratocaster. Um, let's see. Uh, one guy said he hates anything Springsteen puke come on man are you kidding me dude dude come on man dude look i'm not the biggest boss fan in the world but you can't you cannot deny that he did some fucking amazing shit i mean i remember we drive in the car sometimes with the kids and i'll start playing uh let's see what's that song i'm with kids here Like that that song makes me cry jesus um i'll sometimes just play that in the car and leo just goes dad are you crying again it's a great track man come on man how about thunder road man uh you don't like that are you nuts all right uh a couple more things and i'll get off your lawn here um Oh, man, everybody hates Total, Total Eclipse of the Heart. I like that song. Come on, man. She had a cool voice. You hate that? Turn around. Okay, uh, what else? I think that's it. I bored you enough for this morning. You get the point. All right, have a great day, people. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.